Hi everyone! In this episode I show you how I make a long time exposure photograph of a waterfall going into a cave using natural light and combined with one or two strokes if possible or necessary. So today the idea is to get uh, at this uh, cave known as Lodet. Uh, it's a very interesting little cave. Uh, it has two entrances, an upper one and a lower one. And the particularity is that the cave got a, um, uh, a stream coming in from the upper entrance and it's getting out uh, from the lower. Uh, it, it's, it might be like a very ancient cave. Because uh, it's been created by the flow of this stream inside, and uh, it creates a very nice waterfall in it. So that's what we're gonna try to do today, uh, and uh, we'll see what's gonna, what's gonna give, what we can make out of this a pretty misty, <laughs> rainy day. It's been snowing a little bit nicely actually but uh, the thing is that now uh, just can't stop raining absolutely can't stop raining so uh, almost the entire snow is gone it creates massive flood really big uh, yep so that's the idea today the goal is trying to make a nice photograph out of this waterfall stream coming into the cave. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So, here we are in a uh, in Lolet cave. Uh, pretty, it's pretty noisy today. Uh, it's, I have to scream. It's pretty good, pretty good news. My voice is already down. So uh, yeah. Anyway, so as you can see, uh, what we are going to, it's up there. We're gonna make. Photograph because the waterfall is up there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna climb here past the past the cave and then find the upper entrance. Let's have a look. But uh, the thing is, there's so much water. 
I don't think I'm, I'll be able to use anything uh, but risking to kill it. Uh, let's give it a try. Uh, I think I will just use uh, long time exposure and uh, that's your light. Yeah, let's give it a try. That's the moment where I was about to explain what I wanted to do with a strobe and a snoot placed on the left hand side of the scene, but my camera battery ran flat. Great. In this sequence, I'm posing with the same settings. A strobe with a snoot pointed on me. The strobe settings were half power and zoom at 105mm to get most of the light on me and not spill around. Somehow, I got lucky and managed to get a few seconds of battery, just enough to show where I was planning to put a second strobe as a backlight source. Here's the result. So, as you can see, uh, we're back in my house because the battery of the, the camera I was using for the video just run flat, too cold, uh, maybe too old as well. So I was about to explain uh, how to, what I was about to do to get the results I wanted. Uh, so first, uh, how do I command uh, my camera? Uh, I, the camera is on the tripod, uh, maybe like 20, 30 meters away from me. Very easy, actually. I'm using some transmitters. I'm using this little, this little fella combined to uh, another one on top of it uh, mounted on the on that camera and there's a, just a very simple sync flash uh, so this helps me to trigger the camera through this receptor and via the cable this gives the communication between the, the trigger and the, the camera and that's magic because it will help me to get the focus and then if it does focus actually it does trigger the camera as well so very handy very cheap actually you can find it on eBay Le Bon Coin or whatever can't remember the, the references but I will definitely link it in the description but actually there are all of them are from Yungnyo, which is a good alternative if you're, if you're on a budget, which I am. And this one is a manual flash controller and it's called the YN560TX. So that's the reference if you're looking for it, which is quite handy. So that's the thing. Another one, another thing uh, that comes handy later on in the video is I was using the first, very first uh, strobe because I was trying to get more light 
on me and make sure I was uh, very still and very uh, sharp. I used a classic Cobra Flash, which is you know as well. Uh, that's a Speedlight YN YN five six zero three. So to get uh, a nice even light uh, just on me and not the whole scene, I'm using um, a snoot. Actually, it's just a very basic uh, milk bottle that I cut to the right dimension. Just put some tape tape on it, and uh, that's it. It fits perfectly and it will focus the lights directly on what you want to be lit up. So that's it. Not very hard, not very complicated, very cheap, very affordable, renewable. And that's, uh, that's the stuff. So very easy, very quick, uh, very handy and very light. That's the most important thing in caving. So that was a bit epic. It surely did bring me a lot of knowledge on how to manage a shooting alone under harsh conditions and battery when it's cold. Now back home, in front of my computer and comfortably reviewing my images, I realized that the picture that I like the most is in fact the first one, with only natural light. The shadows are preserved and the atmosphere much closer to, the, to reality. What, what about you? Comment down below and tell us which one do you prefer and why. I hope this episode brought you something uh, and gave you the taste of exploration and uh, to be amazed with simple things even if the weather is bad. Next video is coming pretty soon and uh, until there, be safe. Bye.